What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Japanese Tales of the Rays. If you kept up with my last video, you would know that tonight we have a new story chapter as well as two new characters. So we'll hop over to the summon page. We've got, and no one corrected me on my last video, so either you guys didn't care enough or I didn't butcher their names. So we got Ruka and we got Ilya. I believe that's how you say it. So let's go ahead and check out the banner first real quick. There is... Oh, okay. That's actually not too bad. How about weapons-wise? Okay, that's really good. They're learning. Um, so the issue in part one was every time they came out with a new chapter, they would just throw everyone on the banner. Everyone who was in a previous chapter, you could have pulled their stuff on this banner. 5% um, rates for uh, Rainbow Mirage Arts. And looks like five star weapon or five star arts are six percent, so that's not bad at all. Fifteen percent for four stars, that's also not really that bad. Um, I'm not gonna go full ham on this banner, um, just because it's not really something I need for myself. Um, I I usually because when you get to this point, if you've been playing for a long time, you have full teams of every anima type. So, unless you really care about a character, like, from the franchise, or they have some really good uh, abilities for their arts and their mirrors art, there's really no reason to go ham for them. I don't really care too much for them, so I'm not going to go ham on this, but let's see. Got 190 diamonds, so I'll probably go till I have 110. So what's that, like, four summons? Maybe I'll go more, depending on how well this goes, but we're just going to kind of look at this real quick, so... Obviously, we've got both their Rainbow Mirage arts as part of this, and Cocos and Melina's arts are also part of this, and they actually did an update the other day, which gave Melina and Cocos their own, like, new picture for their Mirage art when you actually use it, which is pretty nice. The reason I don't want to go too ham on this banner is because I don't know what's coming next. Like, once the Valentine's Day event goes away... I don't know what's next, and if it's a character I really, really want, like, I already know Flynn and Kratos will probably be story characters, just based on the fact that they're in the intro, but you never know, they could be event characters. They may throw, like, because we know we're going to get um, Zelos at some point, so I feel like Zelos and Kratos will probably be in the same event or story, so I definitely don't want to miss out on that. I do have Zelos. I have his Rainbow Mirage Art, but I do need more weapons for him. I only have two weapons for him. And Kratos, I'm sure, whatever his Rainbow Mirage Art, I'm going to love to pull for. So, we'll do a few summons here. Maybe, maybe I'll do five full summons, just to kind of, you know, show off the banner, see what we get. Obviously, the banner just came out. The translations aren't out yet, so I don't know what any of these weapons do. So, I will not be able to inform you of any of that, because... The Mirage Arts we've gotten, you know, clips of. If you follow the Japanese Bandai uh, YouTube, they put out a clip an hour or two before the banner drops. And it shows what it does. But we don't have stats or ability stuff or anything like that for any of the actual arts. So, like, all these five-star arts and four-star arts, we know nothing about. But I am very glad that they consolidated everything here. So, without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and go back. And we're going to do some single summons. So, let's check this out. I'm not really, you know, I I'm not too worried about what I'll pull. Because, like I said, I don't really need anything from this banner. I can still probably get through the story relatively easily enough. Alright, so... That's one of Melina's beginner art, so nothing too special about that. But we're going to continue on. If I pull a mirror jar, I'll just stop right there, too. You know, may maybe I will go a little more ham, because I do need to remember I will be getting a bunch of mirror gems from the story itself. Alright, so far, Melina's stuff, you know, old arts, nothing really that great. That is the downside, is you've got a lot of Ix and Melina's beginner arts in this banner. So there's nothing really too special here to pull. I would like to pull from one of the new characters, though. 
X and Cocos, a weapon for them. I already have. All right, so that's already three singles in, and you know, so far it's not really looking too hot. But uh, let's keep going. Come on, do something. Maybe turn gold. That this. <laughs> All right, if I don't pull anything for a new character after this next summon, I'll probably just save the rest because clearly this is a trap banner and it's really not anything too special because we're just getting all of the old stuff for Melina and Ix, so I'm really not caring too much. Come on, change colors. No color changing. Okay, that's definitely a new okay that's good we got th we got a three star for uh i already forgot his name was it ruka all right i'll go till we have 50 mirror gems left now that we got something different and then i'll s or not mirror gems the diamonds i'll stop at 50 okay and we got we got a weapon for Ilya. so that is also good all right so this is gonna be the final summon I mean, honestly, at this point, I would just be happy to get a four-star. A four-star four star that may turn into a rainbow? Crack? Oh my god, Melina, why? Alright, it's, it's a new art, at least. I don't know if this is a brand new art or if I just didn't have this one before, but... I mean, I'll take it. I've got tons of four-star arts for Melina, so I kind of have to juggle them around and figure out what's going to be best. But with that, I am not going to summon any more on this banner. I'm sure at some point more characters from Tales of Innocence will get events. So I'll be able to summon on those banners for these two. Um, maybe I'll do another summon or two after I finish the story. But as of right now, I'm not really too interested in going too crazy on this. This banner is going to be around till the 7th. So, you know, anything can change. But um, that's pretty much it. Not really too much. So obviously they both have a 5-star art as well. So you're definitely going to want to go for their 5-star arts and their Rainbow Mirage arts. But in my personal opinion, don't summon on this banner. If you're a free-to-play player, do not summon on this banner. Wait for event banners. Event banners are always much nicer because it'll actually go for the characters that are part of the event. And although this is way more consolidated than most banners we get... At the same time, you still see you're getting a lot of Ix and Molina stuff. Like, see, look, it, let's go to the three stars. Look at all those. Those are all the ones I was pulling. Half of the banner, you're just getting Ix and Molina stuff. So you only have a 50% chance of pulling the stuff you want to pull. And when it comes to Mirage Arts, like, let's see. So there's, so there's Ix's base Mirage Art, his regular rainbow one. And then there's his new one for Cocos. And then same thing for Molina. And then you've got two mirror arts you can pull from there. So you're really just... This banner is not good for trying to pull for the new characters. It's really an Iximalina tra trap banner. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for you. Um, I'm assuming we will get an event in the next few days. So when, that, when we get information on who's going to be coming next, I'll make another video for you guys. As always, guys, I hope you have a wonderful evening or day, whatever time you're watching this. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I will see you all next time.